how hello viewers if you have forward and reverse sequence how you can use to develop a consensus sequence first of all you need to install bioedit in your computer window or macbook you need after that you need to type start menu as a bioedit and open it and uh, then you can use your trim forward and reverse sequence and copy it then go to the bioedit software and click on file then go to the new from clipboard you you uh, what you have copied it is saved in the clipboard now click on the new from clipboard here it it will show all this forward and reverse reaction uh, sequences sorry then you need to repair complementary sequence of the reverse sequence then go to the sequence and click on the nucleotide first of all you need to click on the reverse sequence and go to the nucleotide nucleic acid nucleic acid and then click on the reverse complement you can see these sequences and uh, when you click on the reverse complement these all these sequences will change here you can see carefully all oh, this these all sequences of reverse sequences are being changed now you need to select this control uh, forward and reverse reaction by pressing control in your system uh, press control now it will select it uh, your second and go to the alignment and create consensus sequence and you click the consensus sequence it will show consensus in as a third sequence click create consensus sequence here it is the third consensus sequence now now go to your Google Chrome or any other browser and type NCBI nucleotide blast NCBI nucleotide blast here it is come search NCBI nucleotide blast standard nucleotide blast here you can see second tab first tab is directly open and in second tab you can go to click any option of protein nucleotide for I am clicking on the second one here you can see it is the nucleotide blast click on the nucleotide blast now here is the uh, tab used to paste the sequence we need to paste the sequence here and uh, it uh, title will come here automatically and uh, there there these all all the options by default from the NCBI so we need to paste sequence here paste sequence here you can see sequence are pasted here and this now title consensus is become automatically come here and in the form of job title here you can see this come job title you can click on the show results in new window and new window start browsing it will take some time and uh, show all the uh, similar strain with this strain alternately uh, the best may best way of identifying strain is the through easy bio cloud website here is the website easy bio cloud You need to log in if you are registered uh, then you need you can directly log in to the website first of all you need uh, if you do not have a account then you need to sign up here and then uh, you can log in easily here if you don't have the account you can click here to sign up otherwise if you have account you can uh, sign in Here uh, you can give username and password and then you can log in. In NCBI here you can see 
the possible lost and results here uh, all these queries are 100% which you cannot imagine uh, it is difficult to select which strain it could be so how you can identify I mostly use easy bio cloud method go to the 16s based ID and click 16s based ID and uh, uh, you need to submit your sequence here you can submit identify a new sequence and your previous sequence will be shown here you can click identify new sequence here I, I put paste all the sequence here and uh, and click uh, side away then title become pasted here consensus I can I can uh, change this title into uh, Kiki the uh, maybe nine Kiki the so it will be easy to identify click on the next and it will show the your base pairs and your strain name click on submit it will start browsing and show your results here Here it comes KKZ9 is similar to top hit taxon and uh, strain and its similarity is 99.85 okay and uh, if you want to check the details you can click on task plus button this button I, I want to introduce you easy bio cloud is used to uh, compare your identify your strain with the type strain all these uh, hit strain are type strain you can see this D is showing as a type strain type strain type strain type strain so possibly this is all these are type strain so you can check L E C Z is similarity is 99.85 and uh, interbacter chances is similarity is 99.70 and uh, further it is showing similarities so by uh, this way you can identify uh, but in ncbi nucleotide blast you cannot identify it is showing 100 percent with uh, many type of interbacter species I hope you like this video and it will increase your knowledge and please subscribe to this channel and hit like button for more videos.